I'm playing double. Whoopsies. I'm playing double. It's done now. I haven't pissed and shitted. Bummer. I'm not gonna start it yet. Um, I I was not prepared for this stream at all. I thought I would be, but I wasn't. I spent the whole day goofing off and doing nothing, and I was like literally doing everything to the last minute, and that's why the stream started so late. So forgive me for being so damn late. But thank you for being here. And thank you, Nikki. Yes, you just got an ad. You can sub. I'm affiliated now. You can feed me all the money you want. And I'm, of course, joking. And I'm, of course, not asking for any money. But that is a thing now. And I'm going to start rolling out some sub badges and other things such of the sort. Um super excited this is just like me you know letting you know 
about stuff that's going to be happening and changing, but that is pretty much the deal right now. Um, so I'm really excited about that, and I can't wait to uh, to get started growing more. So thank you all for bringing me to where I am today. Um, again, I was not really prepared for this. I didn't think it would take as much time as it did. And it's not completely done, but I'm going to work with it because that's just the kind of guy I am. But anyways, I think there's enough people in here right now. I have a little preview video for tonight's murder mystery. So let me know in chat if you're ready to see this little preview, this little two-minute preview video. Let me know. Let me know in chat. I want to see at least one person so that way I'm like cool with playing it. I don't want to just play it for nobody. That'd be lame. Yeah, Juan is. Juan's ready. All right. You know, is if Juan's watching it, that's all I can really ask for, right? <sighs> okay, let's go. All right. Well, here is the intro to tonight's murder mystery. Enjoy, everyone. Wow. Wow. Um, incredible. Um, wow. Um, are you kidding me? Um, That's right, everyone. It's the murder of Judy Johnson. Oh my god. How exciting. A new murder. A new case to solve. I think you and I, together, can achieve it. Don't worry about subbing, Nikki Beats. All I need tonight is your help. I need your help because we need to solve this murder. Is that fair? Is that fair? Okay. Let me break it down for you all. Let me break it down for you all. I know you can barely hear the music, but fuck it. 
Um, it's 1937. I'm a detective. Detective Knees, to be exact. And this is a case that was just brought upon me. So, if I look at my listing here. Oof. Our main person tonight is Judy Johnson, right here. Oh, 20-something, just trying to find a career in the big city of San Francisco. She moved to San Francisco with her two older brothers, Joe and Jacob, last year. The two brothers are very protective of their little sister. She's been seeing a co-worker that she works with at the local diner, who the two brothers have never met, but know about. Cause of death? Strangulation. With a pearl necklace. Found in the alleyway of the hotel and butcher shop. No prints or traces leading back to the culprit. So, a whole lot of hoopla if you ask me. Now let's talk about her brothers. The first suspects of tonight's story. The first of seven. There's Joe Johnson. It's the murder victim's older brother. Twin of Jacob Johnson. He's late 20s. Uh, twin of Jacob Johnson. Older brother of Judy. Works with brother at local SF hotel as bellboys. Has one lazy eye and is a meathead. And then the second culprit, Jacob Johnson. Murder victim's older brother, twin of Joe Johnson. Also late 20s, twin, older brother of Judy's. Also works with brother at local SF hotel. As bellboys. Likes his hair longer and is a meathead as well. Then we move on to Gretchen Gray, the local neighborhood millionaire. So Gretchen is in her mid 70s. She lives alone with her dog. Husband died a few years back of unknown causes. And she refuses to tell anyone how he died. Hmm. Grew up with old money from her father's oil industry and moved to San Francisco when she was 30 to run a hotel. The hotel that the Johnson twins work at. Treated Judy more like a, her granddaughter. Treated Judy more like her granddaughter than her real granddaughter, Molly. Now, who's Molly? Well, Molly, moreover, granddaughter of Gretchen Gray. Uh, she's in her early 20s, living in the hotel for free because her grandmother owns it. Wants to become a movie star someday. Mother died of unknown causes as well when she was a little girl, and father never was really present in her life. Does Judy have huge uh, bitchin' tits? I mean, we'll find out, One, I mean, she, she's laying on him. I, I guess we'll, we never will find out. A shame, really. You'll just never know, will you? Anyways, as I was saying, Molly Moreover... Mother died of unknown causes. Father was never really present in her life. Does not like her grandmother, but doesn't want to be taken out of her will. Was always envious of Judy's natural beauty and thought of her as competition when the boys were around and had previously dated Joe Johnson. Then there's Atul Avara, son of the local butcher. Now he's in his mid-twenties and obsessed with Molly Moreover, and he would do anything for Molly and to please her, and she knows this. Grew up very poor and lives next to the hotel with his family, but frequently hangs in the hotel. Gretchen Gray refuses to give a tool a job because she's racist and refuses to give work to non-white people. Hmm. Hugo Hassenklever. He's a large German front doorsman for the hotel and our final suspect of the night. No, not the final suspect, actually, at all. What up, Louis? Uh, he's in his late 30s, German, and obsessed with Judy. Anytime Judy would stop by the hotel, Hugo would make sure to catch Judy's attention. Does not get along with the Johnson twins and doesn't appreciate their overprotectiveness. Mm. And finally, the mystery boyfriend. Judy's boyfriend that no one truly knows. He's in his mid-twenties and that's about all we know about him. Now we have these seven suspects to go over tonight, but I'm going to need your guys' help to draw them. How does that sound? Sound like a plan? Sound like a good deal, hmm? I'd say so. We know what Judy's looks looks like. Judy. But I say we get started with the first culprit. Being Joe Johnson, one of the twins. And Judy's twin brother. So let's just get his uh his little uh, thing here, and we'll, and we'll take this right here. Where is it? Where's the type? There it is. I don't want the type. I don't want it this large at all. Give it to me 12. Fuck that, fuck that. And just give it to me. Give it, give me, um, 
What's a good one? I don't know what's a good one. Aerial rounded. Fuck it. And we'll just paste that shit. Bam. Perfect. Sorry, you can see I'm doing a lot of this. Joe Def has huge bitch and knockers. Yeah, he's a meathead. Makes sense, makes sense. So, uh, okay, so we know this about him. He's got huge bitch and knockers, but what else? What else does he have? He's 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 a meaty guy, little meathead, and has one lazy eye. And that's all we really know about him. But So he's got bitch and knockers, lazy eye, and a meathead. So I think we'll start off... Uh, oops, just completely erase that. Oh, yeah. Caterpillar eyebrows. Good idea, Juan. We'll get those in right away for you, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big butt chin for sure. Got it. No worries. That won't be a problem. All right. Hmm. And he's got one lazy eye. High cheekbones. That's what he's got. He's got pretty high cheekbones. Okay. 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 Tiny lips. Lazy eye. Yes. Okay. I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. 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 Like tiny mouth. Okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it. There's his eye. And what does he have? He's got a butt, big butt chin. Huge, the biggest butt chin I've ever seen. Um, caterpillar eyebrows, butt chin for sure. High cheekbones, tiny lips with a tiny mouth. So we'll put that in for you right now. He's got little tiny lips. And we'll give him a nice regular nose. Nice regular nose. Because we gotta be nice to him in one way or another. <laughs> a nice little tiny mouth for him, I want. Oh shit. There we go. Perfect. Get more of me in this bitch. Nice. And he's gonna have a fatty neck. Cause he's meathead. Wow. There's his other ear. I know it doesn't look like it, but that's his ear. And we'll give him nice broad shoulders. Hmm. Hmm. A cross earring. What a tasty beefcake he's turning out to be. Exactly. Delicious, tasty beefcake. Here's a little cross earring for you. I won. And we'll give him um, some skin tone. Obviously, you guys can't tell what skin tone he's going to have, but he's going to have one. Spiky hair. That's right. I almost forgot hair. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No one saw that. That literally didn't happen. That simply didn't happen. Yeah, he's kind of sick, huh? Maybe sick and twisted. You ever thought about that one? Hmm. You ever think about that, huh, kiddo? Huh? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Give him some eyebrows. I'm gonna give him some hair. Nice. Booyah. Neck tat. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think we'll give him a neck tie. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. Let me get him. Let me get him little lips real quick. Let me get him little lips. Let me get him little lips real quick. Yeah, little lips. A little lip color in here, you know. A little, a little something. All right, let's give him a little neck tattoo. Fuck it. I fuck with it. He's in the octopuses. Nice. Nice. He's an octopus lover. Yeah. So he's got a little octopus on the side. 
And I think we'll give them a nice little shirt color here. Nice little shirt color. Wow. What color eyes should he have? It's the Snapchat logo. Exactly one. Wow. You're a genius. I love you for that. Thank you. His eye color. This guy fucks. This guy absolutely fucks. This guy fucks like 20 times a day. Okay. Perfect. 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 Yeah. Sure one. Sure. <sighs> Boys, he's done. The first suspect of the night, Joe Johnson. Murder victim's older brother and twin of Jacob Johnson is finished. Now, um, I think we should uh, interview Joe Johnson about what happened the night of the murder. Shall we? Does that sound like a good idea, anyone? I think it does. Yeah, Joe. What did you see the night of the murder that um, really caught your eye, really caught your attention? Oh, well, he, uh, um, well, yeah, when I was hoping to guest, um, I saw a tool holding some pearls. Oh, a tool. Oh, that's one of the other suspects tonight. Interesting. So, a tool is holding the murder weapon, the night of the murder. Huh. Okay. I'll be sure to remember that. Thank you very much, Joe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem, yeah, uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, guys. So, we got Joe. So, Joe's done. Joe Mama. Joe Mama. And now, we move on to his brother, Jacob Johnson. Let me get this in here. Let's do this, bitch. Paste that bitch. I want it more like this, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, so, you know, he's a twin. So he's gonna have similar tendencies. Similar looks. But he likes his hair longer. You can't tell these truth, then I guess we'll find out now, won't we, Nikki? So this guy's gonna have a similar vibe. Similar vibe for sure. But he's gonna have longer hair. Like this. Nice. That's his that's his little ear. That's his little ear, bitch. Yeah. And this is his long ass hair. Cause he likes it long, apparently. He's not afraid. Kind of like someone I know. Cause we ain't afraid, me and Jacob. Me and Jacob Johnson, we're not, we're not, we're not so different. Him and I. Him and I. <laughs> no, we're not. Okay. Let's get. Let's get um. Some description, guys. Come on. What is Jacob Johnson? We already got his uh, his hair. It's very long, and we already know he's a little beefy. So we got a fat neck in there. But what are we what are we doing? I know he's a twin, but twins don't always look exactly alike. So, what do you think Jacob Johnson has going on for him? I'm curious. I'm just curious. That's all. I'm also sweating because I'm not sure if you guys know this, but there's been a here in 1937. We're in the middle of a heat wave, and the AC in my room is like broken, broken. Scar in his cheek, small eyes. Smaller. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's he is blind. He looks blind. I'm at the foodie. Oh, what up? What up, JBs? What up? What up? What up? We're doing some uh, murder mystery tonight. So he's blind. He looks blind. The deformed nose when he broke it as a wee lad. Got it. Easy. <laughs> wow. You don't say, huh? That's crazy. He gonna be an ugly mom. Yeah, he's super ugly. 
All right, what about some lips? What do we got? What do we got going on for lips? His his brother Joe had really intensely thick lips. So should he keep the same? There's that is a literal penis. See, Juan, your mind went to that, but in all honesty, I think it's something more. I think it's a broken nose. I think he simply has the worst nose known to man. But let's get a mouth in this bitch. Thank you. Thank you, JB's. JB's, what kind of mouth should he have? Just anyone. Give me a mouth. God, I'm sweating. Um, this jacket's definitely coming off soon. I am... I am steaming up right now. Small... Little smirk mouth. Very suspicious looking, eh? Very suspicious. Little teeth. Little teeth. Yeah. Very suspicious. And that means his eyebrows should be doing the same thing. Like, eh? Uh, uh. Oh, really? Oh, you think so? Huh? Oh, you think this is how it's gonna- Okay, interesting, yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't mind, I don't mind, I don't mind at all. I don't mind at all. So let's give him a nice bit of hair. Maybe it should be over here, yeah. Interesting. I just farted. Can I be- can I be real with you, Juan? <laughs> no one cares. Literally, no one asked. Oh my god, Juan's gonna get pink eye. Like his, uh, like his best friend. Juan has a best friend that he loves to hang out with who purposely farts on his pillow. And that's why him and Juan hang out. Okay, so the scar is gonna come on. I had to do the skin tone first. That's why I didn't do the scar yet, Nikki. So don't you worry, it's coming. Don't you worry, kiddo. Okay. And we'll do this. We'll do a nice little bada bing, bada boom. Bada boom. Bing bong. And I think you should have the Harry Potter scar. Isn't it like a Z? Kind of like this. Got a nice little lightning bolt on his face. I think that's it. I think that works. But then we'll have like another one that's like like this. He's got two of them. You know nothing of Mr. Potter. I don't. I don't, and that's fine. That's completely fine. Okay. And we'll give him some nice fatty shoulders. Oh yeah. Oh, extra broad for him, huh? Extra broad for this guy. Okay. Nice little butt chin as well. And we'll give him a nice little shirt color. Ah, excuse me. The burp here and there. It's a nice shirt color. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll do fine. And we'll give him a nice little background. Wow. He does look up. He looks pretty crazy. The second twin, Jacob Johnson. Older brother of Judy Johnson. He defo played football in high school. He sure did. By the way, I'm just going to keep Judy right here. So that way everyone knows what the fuck's going on. We have a murder in town. Okay, anyways, he's perfect. Save. This one is Jacob. Jacob. Jacob Johnson. Bam. Put him in. Lock him in. Yeah, exactly. He, de he definitely peaked. 100% peaked. Alright, our next suspect of the night. Ooh. Ooh, a good, a good one. I'm very excited about her. Very excited about this bitch. Yes. This bitch. Yes. Okay. It's Gretchen Gray, fellas. Local neighborhood millionaire. Mid 70s, lives alone. So an old broad, old money type woman, all right? So let's, let's get her started. Who be dead? Judy. Strangled. Saggy tatas. Her wrinkles have wrinkles. Fair enough. Alright, first let me give her a nice little hairdo. 
She's going to be George Washington or something. It's going to be crazy. Big nose and ears. I'm not sure if I'll be able to capture her nose with this hair. But I guess we shall see, won't we? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do this. Bam. Oh, so good. Wow. In chat, tell me how dead. JVs, you better start typing. In chat? No. Someone else can. Simply not me. I simply don't have time, JBs. It's not in my nature to. Okay. Wrinkle, wrinkle. Big nose, big ears. Wow. You don't say. This looks like it's about to be George Washington. It's insane. I can't really do the ears because it's underneath the, uh, the hair. Thank you, Nikki, for typing that out. I appreciate it. And she's going to have this. Yes. Yes, little eyes. Yes, little. Little, little woman eyes. Yes. And she's going to have a really pointy. <laughs> That's crazy. I think it was brought on by sexual frustration. Yes, of course. Of course. Look at her, look at how crazy she looks. I think this is sick. Look at her. She's looking like a fucking crazy person. Possibly too crazy. Ooh. A devilish look in her eyes. A devilish look. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, interesting, yes. Oh, wow, quite. Yes, this is uh, quite a predicament, yes. Very scary. Very scary. Oh. Some nasty dentures, bro. Okay, fair. Yeah, fair. I'll do that. Yeah, very fair. I'm sexually frustrated. And there we go. This is what we have to do. We have to have her teeth coming out. Nice. <laughs> Dental work wasn't that advanced back then, even if she did have all that money. Exactly. I'm doing the wheel after this, JV, so don't worry. You stick around. I'll definitely get you that. I'm definitely hitting you with that wheel. Wow. Wow. And she's going to have like this. I think so. No. No, she's going to have more of this. Yeah. That's better. Hmm. Okay, she looks actually horrifying. Like looking at her. Okay, let's get some of these in here. Pop up out, see. Oh wow. Okay. Just wanna make sure my music was still playing. Okay, 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 okay. Tiny, tiny neck. There we go. The tiniest of necks. You can't really see how saggy they are, but she's got some saggy ones. You can just tell by the the nice wrinkle cut. Looks how I pictured she would, to be honest. Exactly. And I have to give her all these wrinkles, too. She's the wrinkliest person I've ever seen. So wrinkly, she's so disgusting. Oh, I hate her so much. Ugh, no wonder Molly hates her. Because she's literally so wrinkly. It's actually disgusting. <laughs> she's 
She's so gross. She's so gross. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Skittishing, perfect. And we'll give her a nice, disgusting color skin. Bam, boom, pow. Exactly. Sure. Diamonds missing from her arm, from her neck. Oh my god, I'm sweating so much. Holy shit. <sighs> Gotta get through it. Gotta get through it. It's for the look. It's for the look. Ugh, god. I really hate how she looks. Not in like a bad way, like she looks amazing, but like... I just hate it. Okay. <laughs> Gretchen Gray. Alright, we finished Gretchen Gray. Oh wait, I didn't say... I didn't say what Jacob said after I was done drawing him. So actually, let's pull up Jacob for a second. Let's pull up Jacob for a second. Thank you. Jacob. Did you see anything fish you the night of the murder? Oh, um... I have no qualms with Mr. Hassencleaver, but I did see him holding a pearl necklace earlier in the night. Oh, Mr. Hassencleaver. You mean Hugo Hassencleaver, the doorman, the German doorman. Interesting. I'll be sure to remember that. So, so far, Joe has told us that uh, he saw a tool holding some pearls, and then Jacob saw Mr. Hassencleaver holding a pearl necklace. Interesting. So, two people holding the same pearl necklace in one night. Very interesting. I'll be sure to remember that. Thank you. Um... Mrs. Gray, Mrs. Gretchen Gray, did you see, did you see anything fishy going on that night? Anything fishy? Uh, oh, well, I overheard Judy's boyfriend talking to Joe Johnson about finishing the job. The job? What do you, uh, do you, do you know what that means by any chance? Oh, no, no idea. Just, just Judy's boyfriend and Joe Johnson talking about it that's all very interesting yes all right thank you mrs gray appreciate it gretchen is done gretchen i spelled it wrong no i didn't whatever she's done interesting conflict very interesting conflict indeed um let's see here let's see about the next person we're almost done well we're not almost done we'll be we're on molly right now and then we have molly so it's molly a tool Hugo and the boyfriend, so we have four more. So let's get through these quick, so we can figure out who murdered. Judy. Judy. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Paste. Bam. Perfect. Perfect. Early guess, Gretchen put a hit out on Judy. Interesting, interesting. Good good hypothesis. I, I appreciate the effort. I do like it when people guess. It always makes it more fun. Okay, so we don't really know anything about how Molly looks, other than that she isn't as beautiful as Judy, but we don't know how pretty Judy is because Judy's laying, laying flat on her face. So let's get some stuff for Molly. What are we thinking? What do we think Molly's looking like? Just let me know. And I'm taking this jacket off. Oh. 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 It's tough out here in this heat. In this absolute heat. Anyways. Hmm. Molly. Molly, 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 Molly. The absolute bitch. Molly is blonde. That's exactly what I was thinking. I said Molly had to be blonde in my mind. She had to be. So I'll give her, I'll give her a nice little... The worst head shape ever. Blue eyes. That's fine, and we'll do... Nice little haircut like this. I think she'll have 
little bangs like that. That's my that's my idea. Just a simple little bang hairstyle. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. Everyone knows the vibes. Perfect. Typical pretty girl that all the boys want, exactly. But not pretty enough. Oh, interesting. Oh, very interesting, yes, very interesting. Mm, quite. Mm, yes, quite, very interesting. Oh. And she has blue eyes. What kind of eyes, like, what do they look like? Give me an idea. Give me an idea of these eyes. Nikki, I'm very curious. <sighs> Give me something about them. I'm just curious, that's all. Ah. Hmm. Almond shape and big. Is that almond shape? It looks like, like it looks like a a, a uh, like a, like a like a lemon, but I think that's fine. I think she's got to be a little bit flirtatious with her eyes, you know. you don't say, huh? She's pretty pretty. But not too pretty. Nothing too pretty yet. At least to my knowledge. I guess we'll find out. Well, we already know that she's not that pretty. But, whatever. We're, going, we're getting some details there, eh? Yeah. The innocent one, but secretly won't anyone or anything get in her way. Hmm. Yes. Yes, a very, very good breakdown of Mrs. Molly. <laughs> I agree. She does have that type of energy to her, doesn't she? Little eyebrows, maybe. Here and there. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Pretty. Pretty indeed. Maybe too pretty. Nice wee me button nose. I, I can't do good noses. I guess we'll find out together though, won't we? I can't do this. That's fine. Nothing too crazy about her nose. And what about those lips, Nikki? Huh? What what type of lips is she gonna have? I'm curious. Ooh. I'll give you a little. Draw a line going down with a simple little curve for the nose. Tight pursed lips. I'm fine with the nose. I can't. I, I can't. I know I'm not gonna do any better. Wait, big lips actually. Okay. Down. No, smaller. Wow, a stunner she is. Am I wrong? I don't think so. Maybe a little darker color for the bottom lip. Yeah, I like that. Perfect. It is perfect, isn't it? It's too perfect. Just too perfect. Just suspiciously perfect. Can't put my, can't 
can't put my finger on it. You know what I mean? Just too suspicious. Beautiful. Beautiful Molly moreover. There we go. Barbie doll looking, exactly. God, I hate, hate Molly. She just looks annoying. Does that make sense? Definitely. Interesting. Okay. I think Molly's done. Don't you? I do. Oh, I definitely do. But what did Molly have to say about the murder that night? Molly... <sighs> Sorry, your good looks are confusing me, but did you see anything that night that could have... Uh, could have given any hints to the murder. Oh, well, I would hate to snitch on my poor dear granny, but if those pearls were anyone's, they would be hers. Oh, very, uh, oh, God, sorry. She's crying out of beauty right now. Um, thank you. Thank you for, um, for letting me know about, uh, about the pearls. That's, that's huge. That's the murder weapon. I mean, if, if that's to be true, then that would be very sure, sure, yes. That would be a very sure case, yes. It would be, yes, I know, I know it would, I know it would. Um, is that all tonight? Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, um, anyways, um, you may go home now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Interesting. Molly says she suspects her grandmother for owning those pearls. Pretty fair. Fair, I would say. Molly's saved. Interesting. Who are we on to next? A tool. A tool of Vara. He's the son of the local butcher. And obsessed with Molly. I mean, God, who couldn't be, right? Who wouldn't be at this point? She's such a absolute babe. Ugh. I think I'm onto something with my Gretchen prediction. Interesting. Interesting. I can't wait you to find out as we solve this together, Nikki. But a tool. Mid twenties, obsessed with Molly. Mm. He's Indian. A tool of our. Uh, He's Indian, of Indian descent. I didn't put that down, but he is Indian. Uh, he's got to be a little bit ugly. I think he'll be a little bit ugly because Molly obviously doesn't give him the attention he needs. Exactly, yeah. Um, let me get a nice little head shape in. He's got to have a little skinnier head. Oh, I gave him a crazy face structure, though. That could be an issue. Hmm. Simple hair. Simple hair for a tool. Hmm. Like the star of a coming of age film where he tries to get the girl that's out of his league the whole time? Exactly. I am 100% in the greens with you. Just getting the body done right now. Let's focus on this face, shall we? All right, let's give him a semi-attractive nose. Hmm. I think that's a pretty good nose. We'll give him um, thicker lips. Hmm. I think it's fine just him having an upper lip like that. That's fair. A little acne to bring him down a peg, exactly. We'll put that on after when I, when I put the skin down. What about his eye? What, what should his eyes be doing? I feel like his eyes should have a little... 
pizzazz, maybe. A little pizzazz, maybe. Is that too wrong of me to say? A little pizzazz. That looks a little bit pizzazzy. Oh, that was not as good. Ooh. I like these kind of, I don't know, they're like, oh, oh, oh. And I'll give them just some nice, thicky eyebrows. Per usual. Feels like everyone's getting some thicky eyebrows tonight. I suck with picking up facial features. I I do too. Don't worry. It's 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 a tough biz out here. It's a tough biz out here if you want to be picking out some uh some facial features. You should be kind of calm. He's got big eyes. Oh God. I know. Yeah. Fuck. I think I made him too, too handsome. I made a tool too handsome. It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna geek him up with some uh, with some uh, acne and shit. It'll be good. But I, I did. I kind of went. I, I went too attractive, unfortunately. Huge bummer. Like biggest bummer ever. face is too chiseled, I know. You know what I can do? I can give him some... I'll give him some, uh... an ugly smile. That way he can at least be somewhat ugly. Like the golden god himself, Dennis Reynolds, exactly. He does look like Dennis Reynolds, huh? That's crazy. No, it's too good still. Much better. Making him look a little bit uglier, one step at a time. Okay. Let's get this man some skin tone. See, look, he doesn't look attractive anymore. He looks like a bunch of only enhances looks. We couldn't give him. We couldn't give him one. He also would be too attractive. Hmm. Hmm. Fuck. Okay. Let me fix this real quick. And then let me go back in. Nice. Very nice. And we'll go a little bit darker for his eyelids. Nice. And then for his hair. Oh, wait, no. Nice. 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 It's a tool. It's literally a tool. A tool, Avara. Diary of a Wimpy Kid character, exactly. Yeah, the mouth, the mouth works so well. Oh, we need acne on him. Acne, acne, acne. Acne, anyone? Give him some of these. There we go. He's looking much, much less, uh, much less attractive now. Good. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Ooh, I love me a good, a good one. A big zit on his nose to top it off. You've spoken my language, Buster.
Beautiful. A tool is done. Finished. But what did the tool say? Let's find out. A tool, a tool. Um, so, did you see anything crazy happen the night of the murder? Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I saw Joe Johnson, the Johnson twin, walk out of the alleyway around the time of Ju Judy's death. Oh my god. Horrible. Terrifying. Intriguing, though. I'll have to look into this. Thank you, Atul, for letting me know about Joe Johnson's whereabouts at the time of the murder. No problem, no problem. No problem at all. Okay, cool. Atul's finished and gave a very interesting statement, to say the least. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. On to well, one of the last people, which is Hugo Hassenklever. I'm excited to draw Hugo. He seems like a very interesting looking fellow. He's large and in charge. He's the doorman at the hotel in German. And so we gotta, we gotta, we gotta make him look German and, and do all that and make it look nice. Large German front door has been for the hotel. Kind of like this. Big, beefy German. Terminator-esque. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Type. Type B. Yeah. Exactly. Oh my god, my music finished. The hell? Bring it back. No. No. Yeah. It's back. Oops. Bam, bam. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Nice. Sorry, I'm delayed quite a bit. No worries. Nikki, don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're here. You're participating. All right. We have Hugo here. And he's big and beefy, as we know. And he's going to have a very, pretty casual looking haircut here. Nothing too crazy. With his ears on the side. I think you should have like a nice strong slant like bam bam and his eyebrows are going to be like this Hugo Staglitz from Inglorious Bastards oh I forgot about that I thought I had the poster hanging up I don't Nice. Nice. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's Hugo, yes. Yes, of course, yes. Yes, of course, Hugo, yes. Yes. Okay. Let's not focus too much on that. I know he looks a little scary right now, but we'll fill that in with some color. One tough looking motherfucker. Exactly. It's too small. Cool. Cool. And we'll have a nice little little mouth ridge there for him. Nice. Nice emote. I kinda like it just like sitting like this. I like that. Thank you. Nice emotes. Look at these emotes. Fantastic. Wow. Huge. 
an absolute beast of a man. I think, yeah, I just went in. I didn't even ask for any suggestions. I just straight up just uh, annihilated him. Made him look exactly how I wanted. I love it. Bam. Even darker. The eyebrows. Nice. Skin. There we go. Oops. Okay, okay. After him, we have one more suspect, and then we get to put all of our clues together. Very excited. Very excited. You made him look how I was pictured, too. Yeah. Sheck West is playing pro ball in Paris. Uh, wow, Juan. It's a really interesting one. Yeah, really interesting one. Uh, you should go. You should go hang out. You should go hang out with him, Juan. I'm sure he'd love to hang out with you. Nice. <laughs> How about I kick your ass, son? Yeah, come here then. Yeah, pull up, one, please. Pull up, please. I love it. Anyways. We need to figure out what uh, what Hugo's gonna say. Hugo, um, do you have anything to say about the night of uh, the murder? Oh, um, I didn't see anything fishy, but I did see Judy's boyfriend uh, for the first time walk into the hotel. Oh, very, very interesting. So he's never been inside the hotel before. No, he's um. He's actually, I've never seen him before until tonight, and I guess um, when I saw him, I realized that must be Judy's boyfriend. Even though I, I love Judy, so I, I, I figured as much. Oh, that's, I'm so, I'm so terribly sorry, but thank you for this information. This is very important information. Um, it's amazing. Thank you. Ciao, no problem. Sorry, I can't do a good German accent. Perfect. Well, Hugo is done, and we're on to our final... Suspect of the night. <coughs> Forgive me. Thank you, Nikki, for all the, the emotes. Truly. I really do appreciate it. The last one of the night, the last suspect mystery boyfriend. All we know is that he's in his mid-20s. That's all we know. So we can go crazy with this. We can make him look however we want. However we want. That's the freedom of this show, of this, of this and lovely stream. So Nikki, give me something. Give me something about the mystery boyfriend that you want him to look like. This is Judy's boyfriend. The murdered Judy, you know? I'm just curious. Sorry, I'm like sweating in here again. Tininess. Okay. I'm gonna give him kind of a fatter head. A little bit of a, a little bit of a fatter head. And he's got a little tiny nose. He's got a little baby nose. Isn't that crazy? A little baby nose with beard. Interesting. No one has had one so far. That's true. Well, we already did the nose. Oh, you're saying crazy nose. It is pretty crazy. The nose is pretty insane. Does it look like a penis one? Please, tell me. I'm so curious. Since you have such a good analysis on dick nose. Yes. Fantastic. Fucking lem lemberjack type beat, exactly.
Wow. Let me fix this up right here. <laughs> I can't fix it. I just simply can't fix it. Alright. Looks like me right now. Nicky with the beard, though. Maybe you're the mystery boyfriend. What color hair should he have? Hmm. Nick Cage can't lose. Nick is just sending in emojis. <laughs> Fantastic. Nicky, I need I need I need some features. List off some features. Eyebrows, nose, or eyes. And that's all we need. We just need we just need a uh, dark brown, okay. Dope. Ooh, that's not that. There we go. Sorry. Had to fix that. Upside down eyes with a gingery beard. Ugh, well, I just, I put the fucking, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, let me, uh. Yeah, okay. Y yeah, okay. Alright, let me get this beard in. Even more. No, 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 no. Better. Upside down eyes, he dyes his beard. Okay, got it. Yeah, because he's a suspect. He's, he's a weirdo. And he's got upside down eyes, says one. And upside down eyes he will have. Got that crazy look in his eye, bro. What the fuck? Holy shit. He looks so worried about something. Maybe the fact that his girlfriend just died? Maybe that's it. Amazing. 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 Hmm. 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 I'm really concentrating on now. I really, I really want him to turn out well. Nice. Nice. And they'll have this. Yeah. Yeah. Hasn't slept for days. Clearly not. Clearly. He's clearly just an insane looking motherfucker. Okay. And we'll have his color. No, we've already done that one. We'll do this one. Perfect. Perfect. He's on that young ad roll. Exactly. Alright, our final suspect of the night. What does he have to say about the night of the murder? Um. Excuse me, um, Mr. Boyfriend. Um. Can you tell us anything about this, uh, tonight's murder? Well, I can tell you one thing. It's that. I never liked Judy anyways. So I'm not even too phased. In fact, if I have to tell you something, officer, I've been sleeping with Molly because I love her. So there's no way I could be involved in this case. No way in hell. Since my real love is for Molly. Molly, moreover. Oh, that's 
very interesting, uh, very interesting indeed for me, for me, indeed. Okay. Thank you, mystery boyfriend. Uh, don't worry about your name. I won't be needing it. Oh, yeah, 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 no, no problem. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, she's pretty cute, I can't deny it. <laughs> okay. Let's begin the breakdown of the night. We have all their suspects in, and we have all their statements in. We have poor Molly Moore over, still dead, on the ground to some pearls. Now, how about we break down who murdered Judy Johnson? Now, let's start with the facts. Atul hates Joe for dating the girl he's always wanted and is trying to frame him for the murder. And Molly also dislikes her, her grandmother and would love to frame her and put her behind bars. This is how it went down. The whole plan was Molly's all along. She couldn't stand Judy walking around as perfect as she was. She knew Judy's boyfriend was looking for any way to get money and had been secretly sleeping with her on the side. She promised the boyfriend that if he helped her murder Judy and frame it on her grandma, she would split the newly given wealth that her grandma had that she wouldn't anymore. She then went and found a tool and asked him to give the pearl necklace to Hugo to hold onto for a moment and made sure Jacob would see Hugo holding them. Molly's plan was to have Hugo, a tool, and Granny framed as working together to murder, murder Judy. She even made sure that a tool would frame Joe as a suspect to get him in on the conspiracy and put him behind bars as well. And even further on that point, have Jacob innocently frame Hugo by having him see the pearls in hand. The only non-guilty people would have been the boyfriend and Molly, getting away scot-free. Now the question is, who killed Judy? While everyone is busy, Molly, moreover, made her way to the alleyway where Judy was smoking and took her final breath away making this murder almost perfect because she almost got away with it. However, our true killer tonight is Miss Molly Moreover. Wow. Wow. I am in shock, really. I'm really in shock. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at Juan's email. Uh, yeah, so that is uh, the conclusion to tonight's murder mystery. It was Molly Moreover the entire time. I was gonna choose her, but it seemed too obvious, exactly. And you know what? I've always noticed that everyone always tries to pick the underdog, the one that doesn't seem like they're up to no good, when Molly has always been up to no good. She ain't slick at all. She's been naughty. And now, she's going away for a long time. Lovely. Exactly. Made it way too obvious. Okay, so let's get everyone's drawings up in order, and then we'll look at them in color all at the same time. How about that, huh? It's gonna be it's gonna be fantastic. We'll get all these drawings up, all these drawings. Yeah, here's Gretchen. Her motive was too strong. It was it wasn't too insanely strong. But uh no matter the cost, it had to be done. Hugo. Mystery boyfriend. Okay, so first will be mystery boyfriend. Oh wait. How am I going to do this? Oh, I'll, just, I'll move him over here. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'll move him right over here. Amazing. <laughs> Alright. And we'll have her up like this. 
And we will do this right here. Oh. Amazing. Oh, hey, it's me in person. In color. God, Gretchen looks disgusting. I know. I'm super not excited to see Gretchen again. Okay, anyways. Wait, let me move all these back up. Fuck this shit up. I'm not excited to see Gretchen. Fuck. This shit's really hard to actually control everything. Okay. Everyone, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I think we're missing someone. Who are we missing? Who's this right here? Ah, uh, there he is. Cool. Okay, we have everyone pretty much ready. I thought Judy was wearing blue. Exactly. You thought. You thought. And she has nice little red hair too. Anyways, this is our this is our our murdered girl, Judy. Judy J. And this is the first brother, Joe. Bam. That's right. This is this is what the fuck came up. This is literally Joe. The spiky hair, the little octopus tattoo with the earring. Crazy blue eyes with this pink shirt. Small mouth, huge eyebrows, bushy eyebrows. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. And then we had Jacob, his brother. Wow. A stunner, a looker. Tiny eyes, creepy smile. Some scars on his face. Beautiful hair. And a nice little blue shirt. I think he turned out quite nice. Joe is a Chad. And Jacob is a Chatter. Two brain cells, exactly. They're, they both they both share a brain cell. That's what they do. And this is uh, Jacob Johnson. And then... Who was after that? It was... Um, who was after that, actually? Let me see. Let me take a look. After Jacob was Gretchen. And Gretchen looked like this. Ugh, bro, so ugly. Oh my god. So ugly. Yo, she's actually so nasty. Especially in color, too. So nasty. It was Gretchen, actually. And then Molly. But yeah, this is, uh, this is Gretchen. And then, the murderer we've all been waiting for, Molly. Very attractive. What can I say? Gretchen's granddaughter is... Pristine, pristinely attractive. Can't deny it. Won't deny it. We'll never deny it. Ten times worse in color, exactly. But that's Molly. A, a stunner. And a murderer. The murderer of the night. And then we have a tool. Now a tool just looks like just like a little nerdy guy. Milo looks way better in color, yeah, she does, totally. And I think he looks way worse in color, honestly, with these pimples everywhere. A tool. A tool sitting here. Looking just kind of like sad, he's like, eh. he's like, I, I'm in love with Molly, but he doesn't have any sense of direction in life. It's quite sad, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I get, it, it kind of, okay, it does look like Blue Lake Miguel, definitely. 100%, I 100% agree. We'll have to send this to him as well. And then Hugo, the big German guy. Hugo has Hassan Hassan Leather, Hassan Leather. He looks just how you'd expect him to. Just a German guy, just. So I fuck with him. I fuck with the way he looks. And finally, the mystery BF. Just a simple-looking Charlie Day-looking motherfucker, who has uh, not a care in the world, and he's crazy, and he assisted in the murder. Guilty. Guilty, BFG. But yeah, this is our final guy. And, uh... And that pretty much settles everything. In, uh, tonight's murder mystery stream. Molly was, uh... Molly was our girl, and... And, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's... I don't know, like, that's, that's it. It's crazy. It's, uh... It was an exciting, uh... An exciting... Oh, this is still in black and white. Let me get out of here. Let me make this better. But yeah, sorry again, I wasn't prepared tonight. I tried my best to prepare, but I just gave myself so little time. Didn't even think to do it, honestly. Huge bummer. 
Okay, wait, there you go. Boom. Hey, it's me. But why would Molly settle for Charlie? Because she wouldn't want a tool. And besides Hugo, who really liked Molly, Hugo's too old for her and looks too stern. She's in the more of the younger guys. And the mystery boyfriend just had too much mystery behind him for her to give up. And because she was also... Because Judy was dating him, so she... So Molly wanted Judy's boyfriend. I guess it was more about the getting what she wanted. Exactly. Exactly. But yeah, thank you for being here. This was pretty much me and you, Nikki, this whole stream. We just fucking, we just 1v1'd it the whole time. It was fantastic. So, um... Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm gonna end stream now. But I appreciate you for helping me out in this murder mystery. It was really fun. I can't wait to do another. Um, I really enjoyed having you and a few others come in and out. So thank you guys for coming out and being here. Um, thank you for bringing me to Affiliate. It means a lot. And thank you for allowing me to take up your, your night and have fun. Because I know I have fun doing it. Legendary Streams. I'm happy to hear it. That's a, that's a fantastic title to give it. Legendary stream, not my, not my words, but yours. So I'll, I'll take you up on that. I will gladly take you up on that. Anyways, thank you all. I love you all. And I'll talk to you all tomorrow night. Good night. Good night, everybody.